Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of OpenCart Pick Origami Shipping. This extension will allow the OpenCart store owner to add the most reliable and trusted delivery service of South Africa. Using this extension, the admin will be able to add the Corigai shipping service for shipping his products within the South Africa. Uh, please note uh, this shipping method works only in South Africa. Uh, the store's origin and the customer's destination should always be of South Africa, else the extension will not work. So in this uh, video tutorial today, we'll be learning how the admin can configure the open card, the Corega shipping extension from the admin backend. And after that, we'll be showing you how a buyer would be able to place the order and uh, make use of the open card Corega shipping for getting their shipment to their places. So let's get ahead and let's go to the admin backend panel to check the backend configuration for this extension. Well, uh, after the admin has logged into the admin backend panel, the admin needs to navigate through uh, uh, through uh, extensions, then shipping. Now uh, this will enlist all the shipping methods that are there and install on your store. Now just navigate to uh, the web pool, the Corey Guy shipping extension and uh, edit this extension. Uh, please also note that uh, after the successful installation of this extension, uh, you'll find this web cool, the Corey Guy shipping uh, method uh, under the shipping uh, menu option there. So here we have a number of options that uh, need to be filled up. So let's go and let's uh, check what the different options are there to configure for the admin. So uh, the admin can enable or disable this extension for the front end. So if uh, the admin has disabled this extension, then uh, this uh, shipping method would not be available at the front end for the customers to use. So uh, the admin needs to enable it as per his requirement. After that, the admin needs to enter his username. This username he'll be getting uh, from the Korea Guy people after the, the admin has registered himself with the Korea Guy shipping company there. So these details will be available with the admin. So admin will enter the username, the password, password for the uh, account. Then the uh, admin needs to enter uh, the uh, account number. And the account number would be used for accessing the server for the API. So you need to enter the account number here. After that, you can type in uh, the test URL that is used to fetch the uh, like that's used uh, for getting the services or the various APIs uh, that would be used for uh, displaying the various uh, uh, outputs for the uh, shipping method there. And after that you can type in the city of South Africa region uh, wherein uh, uh, you're, uh, you're having your account. After that, you'll uh, type in the postal code and the postal code should be valid uh, for South Africa. So uh, you'll uh, type in your shop postcode. So uh, please type that correctly. After that, you can type in your shop phone number and the shop place. Now the shop place is a shop street code. So uh, please enter the shop street code uh, exactly as it is uh, and after entering all this information uh, uh, you just need to save uh, the configuration here. So uh, that's all for the configuration of uh, the uh, Korea Guy shipping uh, extension there. So you just need to enable the extension, enter your username, password, account, the test URL, your city. Uh, within South Africa and your shop post code and uh, lastly you will be entering the shop place uh, that's the street code for your shop and after entering all these uh, data here you just need to save the configuration now uh, let's go to the front end and let's see how a customer would uh, place an order for the uh, admins product and how uh, the shipping method is displayed on the front end so for that we'll be going to the front end now at the front end uh, the customer just needs to like uh, he just needs to add the product into the cart so as to go for the checkout 
so I've already added two like multiple products there I'm sorry for that it's uh, just a single product with uh, with with the quantity as two so I'll just go to the checkout by clicking the checkout button there and uh, after that the customer needs to select uh, his uh, address and the address should also be uh, from within the South Africa only and um, the customer would have to click continue after that uh, you can select your delivery details hit continue after that now uh, you'll be now you'll be able to uh, see the web cool courier guide be heading for the extension there for the shipping extension and the various methods that are available uh, for shipping the products within South Africa so the customer can select any of the uh, uh, shipping service there so we'll be selecting the first one and after that the uh, customer needs now under the payment method uh, the customer can select any of the payment methods that are available there so now we'll just be selecting the cash and delivery uh, delivery option there because it's just an example to show you how the checkout process uh, goes after selecting the uh, shipping method there so we just, we'll just hit the continue button after that and here you can see uh, the web pool the courier guy economy road has been selected by the customer and it's for 11.40 dollars now the customer just needs to click the confirm order button to complete the purchase there and after that the uh, Co the Korean guy people would be shipping this uh, will be shipping this uh, shipment to the customer and uh, that was all uh, on the customers end there so uh, thanks for watching the video hope it helped you out uh, uh, if you have any uh, questions or queries regarding the extension you can always get back to us at support at the rate of webpool.com or you can also raise a ticket at webpool.uvdesk.com uh, thanks for watching the video. Have a great day ahead.